I'd like to take us back to the year 2010. <laughs> yeah. Five of us became fast friends at Tulane, and I'm, I feel really lucky to say that we're all here tonight. We were spending our weeknights and early morning hours um, going you know, to some of the finest establishments that Uptown New Orleans had to offer. Um, some of the names of the, you know, the bar promotions that we would go to, you know, like 50 Cent Night, and Penny Pitchers Night, and there was Big Cup Night. Um, our favorite songs were Club Can't Handle Me, um, I Like It, and Like a G6, and we're gonna listen to all those tomorrow. It's on my first day list. Um, and Bottoms Up, oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Our mini fridges couldn't fit the plastic candles of uh, whiskey and vodka that the food store was willing to sell us, so we would just sip it warmish. Um, and in the probably soon to be condemned dorm building, known as Sharp, um, on the fourth floor, Hannah would occasionally regale us with vivid descriptions of what her wedding would look like one day. <laughs> Oh God, I'm gonna cry. Um, I don't remember all of the details, but I do remember that we were sitting on like a moldy carpet and we were eating Cheetos and Hannah said that her wedding, quote, would definitely have swans, unquote. <laughs> and so I don't know if we're gonna have like large birds tomorrow in the tennis, but I know that either way, we're all about to experience the best version of the night that we all talked about 12 years ago on that movie carpet. <sighs> having a friend like Hannah is like having a built-in party planner and trip organizer and just like overall hype person. I think we can all agree that our lives became a lot more sparkly and fun when, um, <laughs> when Hannah became a part of them. And, but it also means that you'll have someone who's constantly dropping quite literally everything to help you work through your problems. And it also means that you know somebody who's willing to drop quite literally everything to help a dog work through its problems. <laughs> and this could even, you know, it, it happened often when Hannah would be driving home from the hospital at maybe 11 p.m. and she was on Claymore and she really should not have gotten out of her car. And she should always get out of her car. You never know what's gonna happen when one of your best friends meets the person that they're gonna spend the rest of their life with. Um, but I feel really lucky to report that in this case it's just meant gaining another best friend, even though I continued calling you Dr. Pitchell um, for like three months too long, probably after after we first met. Yeah. Um, as a hard habit to pick. Um, David, you've listened to my meltdowns before first dates, you've let me ca crash countless movie nights um, with you guys and the dogs, and you become my web enemy. Um, so thank you. You made me feel like I had family in New Orleans when a hurricane was threatening our beloved city and I realized that I had was just alone with my two cats and um, I hadn't prepared. Um, so that's really nice of you guys. Um, you're one of the most quietly hilarious yet thoughtful people I've ever known and I have all the faith in the world that you and Hannah will continue to make the best match. Um, I couldn't be more thrilled that you guys found each other in an off-Broadway version of Grace and Abby. <laughs> Thank you for having us here. I love you both endlessly. I, I'm moving back. I'm going to just, let's, let's say it now. I'm moving back. I'm moving back. I love you so much. Here's to Hannah and David. Yeah.